Hi guys, welcome back. Um, I've had a number of requests following on from one of my previous videos where we went over how to insert a new row using an Excel macro. What people have been asking for is basically an addition to what we went over last time to basically make when we press the button a sequential number appear as well. So for instance you can see this in reverse order. When I press my command button okay, and the new numbers are in bold I get the next number essentially. So how do we do this through a macro? Okay, Luckily it's a very simple addition. I will paste the code at the bottom but I will go over what we need to understand to get this to work in your specific uh, needs. So if we go back into our developer tab and we click design mode, go back to our button, double click, we'll get the code. Okay. Now on the last video which I will have linked as well in the description below, we essentially went over this code here. All this does is inserts a new row with a little bit of formatting. The addition is here. So for instance, <clears throat> we're selecting our first sheet and our range, which is A4. Now the range here, you need to change to the cell that you want to have this next sequ sequential number appear in. So for instance, if we just go back to where we're looking, our next sequential number is A4. So for instance, if your next sequential number where you want it to appear, maybe here, that would be D2. So you need to replace that if that's the case. So that's what you need to do there. Okay. Then in terms of what we um, need to add into that value, we use an active cell value script where we're going to paste in essentially a formula or, or a, a small command. What we're doing here is we're saying to make an next sequential number, we want to add one onto the cell A5, which is going to appear in A4. So again, if we go back, we can see that a5 is what we need to add a number onto to appear in A4. So again, you need to tailor this to your own spreadsheets. It is fairly simple. I will paste the description and the code into the description of the video here. If you have any questions, send them through and we can go over anything again. Okay. Thanks for watching. See you later.